I'm Andrea Brown for Honeycut Salon. And I'm gonna tell you a true story. The names have been changed to protect the stupid. So I had uh, a client one time, she, um, she came in in lieu of paying. Her husband did some work for me. And so I would do her hair. That's what we call bartering for those of you who don't know, but it was a great situation. It worked out for many years and it was just an awesome situation. So this young lady was my client and very nice, you know, never had any issue with her. Um, she loved her hair and she actually wore extensions. So she, um, she probably wore uh, extensions for, I would say, at least five years. So at some point, um, I was doing her hair and there was a knock on the door and it was the Federal Express. Now normally, I would already have packages delivered so uh, I never worried about, you know, teasing people with, with, uh, with my my packages from FedEx and trying to hide them because you know if you're a hairstylist or you do any kind of business or you know a drug dealer or whatever you know that you never reveal your sources so I would never let clients know where I got certain products from uh, unless they're retail products that you know they can just get themselves or uh, where I get my hair from you know I, my connect is my connect no one's allowed to know um, and it's just uh, common within this business to keep things secret so that you are the link between the, the, the client and the product and that's that's how we survive that's how we make our money so at some point I'm doing our hair and and there's a knock on the door it's it's FedEx and they're delivering the package so while I'm doing her hair, I, I take the package and I file it and um, continue to do her hair. I'd say maybe, you know, an hour into doing that, I, I had to go to the restroom. So I went to the restroom and when I was coming out, um, it was almost like she jumped out of my chair. I don't, I don't know exactly what happened. It was just really weird. And uh, so I asked her, are, are you okay? What's going on? What, what just happened? And she said, oh, nothing, nothing. I, I'm feeling a little tired or maybe I have a headache or a stomach ache. Something's wrong. I, I may need to go home. But I was only halfway through her hair. So she says, well, maybe I'll just sit down and let you finish my hair and I'll just, I'll be fine. So I said, well, are you sure? Would you like an aspirin, a glass of water? Is there something that I can get you? Uh, is there anything I can do for you? And she said, oh, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm, I'm feeling, oh, but maybe I just should go. She was just acting so strange. I, I couldn't figure out what happened to her. I've been doing her hair for five years. She's never acted like this before. It was just totally bizarre. And she was just vacillating between leaving and staying. And it's like she was real nervous and she didn't know how to maintain her cool because she, she knew what she had done. So... I continued to do her hair until the end and you know she she loved her hair as usual and she left and I just kept going over it and over it in my head like what could have been possibly wrong with her she was just so so weird and then I thought about it and I said I'm gonna go check that file because immediately I knew that file was missing and she had taken the receipt so she stole my source. She stole my connect. And that was a problem because you can't possibly steal my connect and then think you're gonna walk in here and bring me my product that I purchased for you to put in your hair. Can't possibly think that. So I'm, I'm pretty sure she's never gonna come back. You know, I've lost a client, which was really devastating for me because the work that her husband was doing for me, I really benefited from that. So I didn't, I didn't want to lose her as a client. 
But how, how could I continue to do her hair? I mean, she totally violated the, the ethical code. She, I mean, she was just totally wrong. I mean, I didn't know how I was gonna ever be able to, you know, to do her hair again. I mean, I had, uh, you know, my, my girls to, to tell me, you know, we sat at the round table and discussed, well, what am I supposed to do? And, you know, I, I had a friend say, you know, don't, don't dismiss her if she wants to come back in and get her hair done. You know, that's a, that's a client, that's a paying client. That's, they're doing things for you and, 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 it's, and it's, gonna, it's gonna cost you to dismiss her. So I decided, you know, maybe my friends are right. I should, I should continue to do her hair. I, I shouldn't lose because this person has no integrity. So I, I allowed her to come back in to get her hair done and somewhere, in me I thought she won't possibly bring my product to me because I know my product like you can lay it on the table with 50 other products other of the same kind of products and I can sniff mine out because I'm just that good this is all I do all day every day I know my product so she brought it to me she actually brought my product to me to put in her hair Immediately I knew what it was and and I and I asked her how could you possibly think that I wouldn't know that this is a product that I've been using on you and I've been doing it for you for five years but I've been really using it for maybe 20 years so how could you possibly think that I wouldn't know what you have done and she said I don't know what you're talking about I haven't done anything I, what are you what are you saying you act like you're upset I literally had to put the company on speakerphone and call them to ask them. My client, Blase Splee, called in and ordered some hair. What type of hair is this? So on the speaker, they said, oh, she ordered type A hair. That's not even the type of hair that she needs or wears. That's totally like silky, shiny. It's not even textured hair. So she had the wrong hair. So I let her know that, you know, this was the last time I was gonna do her hair. And after her calling a few times, I think I just told her I don't even do hair anymore. So never did her again. She got what she deserved. Oh, this is Andrea Brown for Honeycut Salon. True stories, story time. Thank you for listening. Bye. Oh, what's in the box?